When n is composite, we want to prove n divides n minus 1 factorial. We start with the fact that n is factorial, that is n is going to be the product of 2 integer a times b. In this case, since n is composite, a, b, both smaller than m, greater or equal to 2. Now, there are two cases to consider. If a equal to b, and if a is not equal to b. Right. In this case, a equal to b, that is n equal a square. Since a is greater than 4, we claim that a is greater than 2. So what that means is that 2a is going to be smaller than a times a. That's a squared. That's n. So what that means, we have shown that both a and 2a is less than n. So they must both appear in the product of m minus 1 factorial. So m minus 1 factorial has to contain, because that is a product from 1 to up to m minus 1. So in this sequence of numbers, it contains a and contains 2a. Yeah. So that means a squared must divide m minus 1 vectorial. Of course, what is a squared? That's n. Yeah. So in this case, we have proven this fact. Now, when a is not equal to b, so which means it is safe to assume a is smaller than b, yeah, because let a be the smallest, smaller one of the two, right? So since in this case it's easy, both a and b is less than n and it's greater or equal to 2, yeah? So which means n minus 1 vectorial again, which is the product of, of 1, 2, up to integer n minus 1. In this case, it has contained a, and it's contained different number, which is b. And of course, which means a and b, the product, divides n minus 1 vectorial. And of course, what is n a and b? That's n. Yeah. So in either case, we have shown that n minus 1 vectorial is a multiple of n. Okay. So this is actually different from when n is a prime number, in which case we have what is called the Wilson's theorem, saying that if n is a prime number, then the n minus 1 factorial is going to be congruent to elective 1 mod n. Right? That's important property for the prime numbers. For the, but for the composite, we just shown that n minus 1 factorial is going to be mod of n, except for, for example, number 4. Yeah, so n has to be greater than 4. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel.